Booyakasha! I think not. This is the real Ollie G Show. Dirty bit. Ollie G Show, lucky episode 13. Uh, this one features some of my travels to Peru. I recently got invited by Chris Van Dyne, a guy I don't even know. He sent me a Facebook message asking me if I wanted to go to Peru. Of course I said yes. Um, and then the brands that I work with as a rep, they came together and, and helped support me on that journey. And these next few episodes of the Ollie G Show are going to show you what went down in Peru. Everything from the beauty, the lag fest, the joy, and uh, the sorrow. Risking lives and uh, touching lives. Check it out. Here we are, Cusco, stepping out. I think I'm on the right deal, going to uh, KB Tours, KB Tumbo. No messages. <laughs> it's like, where's Waldo? <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Oh yeah. Ali. There. Nice to meet you. You too. Katie. Katie, how's it going? Hi, nice to meet you. Likewise. Hey. Welcome. Did you find a shirt? Yeah, everyone, everyone wants to sell Gringo's Leafs all day long, but it's really pretty pointless unless you have the Yipta. So it's you know it's not really it doesn't make any sense to buy the buy the cocoa without the Yipta. So Can you nice explain what Yipta is? Uh, polyacidic basic combination. What makes the Bullshit. it's what makes the activation happen because that's what you know and you can actually use baking soda as well. Baking. But yeah, yeah just make a little pouch. And we're charge <laughs> Oh my god! And I don't chew it; I just suck on it, old school. Yeah. All right. We're going up onto the shoulder, up onto the shoulder of this glacier. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna get all this on video. They cut me all the time and they're like, hey, we think we built this new trail, you should come check it out. You know, my joke is if you ask a guy if you can ride across this land, he won't know what you mean. There's there's certain cultural disconnects here that you realize are so profound in your, in your culture that you don't even understand the question, even though you understand the words. And he would look at you and say, well, it's a little bumpy, you know, you might be able to watch out for that river. He wouldn't even understand you were asking permission. And just reach deep. Oh, would you like a coco pistachio or a nutty banana boom? It's all the boom. Do you got any of the marshmallows yeah. left? Boom! I'm fucking falling a horse, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not losing this shot. <laughs> Are you feeling right now? Yeah, we're both. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the race comes from up there. You come nuking across down that trail and in here. This looks where we in. this looks completely different than uh, than when uh, the one the one I saw it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I rolling? Yeah, you're rolling. All right. Pizza, tanai. Oh yeah, just find the one.
For me here, scouting out the Inca downhill trail for the upcoming Inca downhill race. There's all kinds of bog and stuff to look out for. So, Chris Van Dyne and I are scoping. It's probably about 14,000 feet right here, highest I've ever been on a mountain. Uh, and the natural beauty. Look at that. It's not even. Duncan Hines out here, it's straight gusher X rated. <laughs> All of a sudden, too, huh? Hola. Como estas? Bien. Como se llama? Jordan. Huh? Jordan. Jordan? Ali. There's my bike. Hi, <laughs> bro. See right here. Thank you, man. Ha, puto frío? Está como mierda de frío. How the bikes look? They come out all right? Yeah, yeah, These bikes rode up in the shittiest position, look at that. Damage. I'm such a bike bitch. And I had to put my bike in the back of that fucking thing with everybody else's bikes. First enduro ever. I got 11th, bro. Did you? And I Sweet. overshot. I overshot that part. That part where it goes up and then down under the bridge. Vamos con la onda. Vamos loco, It's on. Yeah, it's on. KB. It's on. 
Sean, I like it. You're looking all aerodynamic, matey. Oh, nice. Okay, and we got to get up to the top. Got in Chileno, but he took his boat out down to the fucking farm. What happened? You know where the, the trail goes like this, and then boom over the little hip real quick. Like the trail goes left, right. Oh, early, early. like real. Yeah, where that like, when we looked at, we looked at yeah. gap on the right, and he I, jumped. I fucking left. popped, and he popped, and he ran right up inside me, and we locked bars and shot off up the field. Oh, really? He jumped. He was on the left to jump on the inside, and you did the main line. Is that what he did? <laughs> Maybe he jumped and he didn't turn right and jump, he went straight and jumped? Well, I followed him over that thing and he had a sick line jumping off the left lip. Because, you know, we were looking at the far right lip and we were also like dipping so that and then jumping left out. Lip onto the trail. Yeah, yeah. And it was super clean, it was a good line. So I bet that's what happened. I bet you came around and landed and he jumped and the pass inside, couldn't get it. And we just tangled bars. I'm sure it wasn't intentional, man. He probably just was fighting hard man. to get yeah. back. And, you know. No, I mean, I apologize to him because as we're going over the hill, I was like, what the fuck did you do that? We're like, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then uh, he was like, oh, I tried to pass. And I, I was just like, I was just like, it's the end, you know, no problem, no problem. I'm just, uh, yeah. I was just super pissed at the time because. Also, man, hospital. Oh, yeah. Dirty bitch.